If you're only using Google Gemini like a regular chat, asking questions, getting answers, and then starting over a new chat, then you're leaving massive time savings on the table. There's a feature called Gems that lets you build your own specialized AI assistants. And I'm not just talking about basic chats. I'm talking about AI that knows how you work, what you need, and delivers consistent professional results every single time. In this video, I'm showing you the exact process that I use to build two of my most powerful gems, a world-class strategist that prepares you for any important meeting, and another that turns your scattered weekly data into professional business reports in under a minute. Here's the problem with regular AI chats. You start from basically zero every time. Do you have to explain what you need and what you want and how you want it formatted? over and over again. GEMS solves this completely. Think of them as your personal AI specialists that live right inside of Gemini. They're preloaded with custom instructions and they remember exactly how you want them to think and respond. It's like having consultants on standby that already understand your business, your style, and your goals. So first, we're gonna build a strategic advisor to handle all of our meeting prep. And then second, we're gonna build an automated business analyst that would find insights into our data that we might otherwise miss if we tried to do it manually. The setup takes a few minutes, but the savings are incredible. All right, so let's build our first gem. So from the home page of Gemini, we're going to go to the left hand side here on the side panel and we're going to click on explore gems. And then when you get to this page, you're going to see that there's a few gems that are already created from Google pre-made by Google, but we're going to click on new gem to create our own custom gem. Okay, so first we're going to name our new gem and I'm going to name it meeting prep strategist. And then next comes the most critical part, which is the instructions. This is where we program our AI consultant. Now I'm going to add this really detailed prompt that I worked with AI to come up with. At the beginning of the prompt, I'm saying your initial interaction needs to be ask for the role, the company, the other party I'm meeting with, and the primary goal of the meeting. So these are the pieces of information that every interaction needs to have. So if I don't give it to you, ask me for that. That's basically what this is saying. Then I'm giving it a persona here. I'm telling it what the task is that I want it to complete, uh, a potential challenge, uh, potential questions or objections that the other party might have, data-driven talking points, insightful questions that we should ask, and then having an opening statement that seems really confident. Like, how can I actually start this so that the other party feels like I know my stuff. So this is a very systematic approach to meeting preparation. Now, don't worry about writing down these instructions because I've put both written instructions into a PDF free resource for you that's included in the pinned comment of this video. You also have the option here of uploading files into its knowledge base. So if you were creating a gem that's a little bit more creative, you might want to upload similar files of things that you liked so that it gives it context as to what creative things you're looking for. If it's something more technical, you might want to upload pieces of information that it needs to analyze to give you the best output. In our case, though, our instructions are doing most of the heavy lifting here, so I'm not going to upload anything else. All right, so we're going to save it and see if this actually works. All right, so let's open up a new chat and we're going to ask it. I'm going to say, I'm preparing for an important meeting. Can you help? I want to see what it asks me for. And perfect. As we can see, it's asking for the role and the company, the other party we're meeting with, and the primary goal of the meeting. Great. So now I can actually add that additional information. Now, keep in mind that you could use this gem to prepare for any important meeting, whether it's a job interview, a brand sponsorship pitch, a bank loan application meeting, or an investor pitch. But let's say we're the founders of a small batch coffee roasting company called the Artisan Roast Collective. And we have a big meeting coming up with Whole Foods to secure a deal to get our coffee on the shelves of 50 stores. We could give our new gem this prompt. My role company, I put the role that we just talked about, the other party, lead grocery buyer for Whole Foods, the goal to secure a deal to get the coffee on 50 different store shelves. Now I also need to give it context on who this person is that we're meeting with and what our company does so that it can give us the best response. So I'm gonna upload two documents. One is gonna be about the Artisan Rose Collective, a quick summary of what the company does, and then who our person is that we're meeting with at Whole Foods so it can give us great prep instructions. This context is what transforms generic advice to surgical precision. Okay, let's hit enter and see what we get. Okay, look at this, this looks really good. Here are the top five challenges that you'll face and how to respond to them, perfect. It's got margin pressure and pricing and it has a great response to that. You know, I understand completely that protecting your margins is a top priority with new vendors. It gives us a, a really good rebuttal, a uh, way of um, kind of mitigating that concern that they have, which is awesome. And then the second challenge here is scalability and supply chain consistency. So 
can they actually supply the 50 stores worth of coffee? That's a valid concern. So all these are really good and they make sense. And then we have a great argument that we are prepared with before the person even comes with that objection. I'm genuinely impressed by this. This is the level of strategic prep that I used to spend hours on, researching their programs, anticipating objections, and crafting responses. And this gem did that in minutes. But here's what really matters. This gem eliminates the anxiety. You know that feeling before a meeting where you're wondering if you thought of everything? This completely removes that stress. Now let's tackle another challenge that I know so many of you face. You know that feeling at the end of the week when you suddenly have to become a data scientist? You've got sales numbers in one tab, social media stats in another, and customer feedback buried in emails, and you're trying to figure out what actually moved the needle. It's tedious, time consuming, and you're always worried that you missed the real story. So let me show you how to automate this completely. All right, so we're gonna go back to explore gems, and then we're gonna click on create new gem. And then I'm gonna add my really detailed custom instructions here. So it talks about the core role here. You are an elite level business analyst and chief of staff. Your superpower is in synthesizing scattered unstructured data from multiple sources into a single coherent and insightful weekly business report. Perfect. And then talks about the process, what they're gonna be uh, using, the AI is gonna be using in terms of inputs, required output format, how it should look in terms of the format that we're looking for of the report. And we've got everything here. So I want the report to have an executive summary, KPIs, analysis of what worked this week, some quick wins, opportunities for improvement and strategic recommendations for next week. What I love about this setup is that it's forcing the AI to find connections between different data points, not just summaries, actual insights about what's driving results. And again, the instructions are doing the heavy lifting here, so I'm not gonna upload anything else. All right, I'm gonna hit save. And we're gonna test this with some messy data and see what happens. Let's say we're the proud owners of a bakery called the Gilded Bakery selling all kinds of delicious stuff. We have all kinds of data, but we're pretty disorganized about it. All right, so I'm gonna say, I want to prepare a weekly business report based on these three documents. Let me know if there is any information I'm missing. And then I'm gonna upload three documents. I'm gonna upload sales transactions from in-store purchases, social media analytics, and customer feedback. This looks really good. It's got the executive summary that we asked for. It talks about this week's performance being overwhelmingly positive, driven by highly successful Instagram promotions that directly translated social media engagement into significant revenue. It talks about this croissant campaign that was done and how that impacted sales and how that impacted other products. Really detailed. We've got our KPIs here that we asked for. It tells us exactly what's working. So it looks like our social media croissant promotion worked this week, hence why the croissants sales were up, which is great. And it also tells us the opportunities for improvement here, which is amazing. So it talks about the fact that croissant sales were high, but then that negatively impacted the custom cakes category. So that's really insightful. It's drawing conclusions from one good thing to how that impacts the rest of the business. And then lastly, we have the strategic recommendations for next week. So based on what worked and what didn't work, it's recommending to you some actions that you can take for next week. So that's why this is so powerful. This just eliminated hours of Sunday night data analysis. Instead of staring at spreadsheets trying to figure out what worked, we get professional insights in 30 seconds. And that's not just time savings, that's stress relief. Now, before you go start building your own, here's some pro tips that are gonna separate the good gems from the phenomenal ones. The most powerful gems are specialists, not generalists. Our meeting strategist doesn't have to write emails or analyze data. It focuses entirely on meeting prep and that's why it's so effective. The second tip is that context is everything. For creative tasks, put examples in the instructions. And for strategic tasks like we built today, you can use knowledge files to provide factual context. The third tip is to test and iterate. Your first version won't be perfect, so test it, find the weak spots, improve upon it, and then test it again. And tip number four is that there's no memory between chats. So each conversation starts fresh. The gem remembers its instructions, but not your previous conversations. So make sure those instructions are comprehensive. And the key thing here is thinking about your workflow. Don't build gems for tasks that you rarely do. Focus on the repetitive, time-consuming tasks that drain your energy every week. This is how you move from basic AI to building systems that actually work for you. Now, if you really like these gems and you wanna build them yourself, then make sure you download a copy of my instructions. The link is in a pinned comment of this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please show me your support by hitting the like button. It really helps the channel. And if you wanna learn more about how you can use AI every day, then click this next video.